In this episode, I'm going to make delicious, totally raw protein bars, so you never have to buy another one again. If you are a protein bar addict, this is the recipe for you. These are far healthier than anything you will ever buy at the store, not to mention so much more economical. If you're spending three to five dollars on an energy bar now and again, this is going to be your new best friend because the ingredients actually are almost recycled. This recipe in fact uses the nut pulp that we used in the nut milk recipe from week two. How awesome is that? So it's almost like a free ingredient. And the reason we're using that is because there's so much wonderful protein in that nut pulp that we don't wanna to go to waste. So this is our main ingredient. We're also going to be using dates. Dates are really rich in complex carbohydrates and they also have a, a good amount of fructose in them. And that's gonna really be instant energy when we need it. We're using shredded coconut, always unsweetened and also coconut oil. And these two things together are going to give us a really good dose of medium chain triglycerides. Medium chain triglycerides are a special fat that's found only in coconut. And this fat is actually burned almost like a carbohydrate. So it's really instant fuel, as opposed to most fats that are stored in the body. We're also going to be using chia seeds. Here they are. They kind of look like poppy seeds, but very, very different nutritionally. They're extremely high in omega-3 essential fatty acids, which are the ones most of us are lacking in, and they're really high in protein, also great dose of fiber in this as well. We have a little bit of salt here, some cardamom powder and cinnamon. These are two spices that are gonna give the bars a really nice, almost like holiday flavor, but you can change this up anytime you like. These are just what I'm going with today. We're also using some uh, hemp protein powder. This is just pure hemp seeds that have been ground up. It's a very clean product. And again, whenever you're purchasing a protein powder, always make sure that the first ingredient is a whole food, preferably a sprouted one. We're also going to be employing that nut butter that you made in week two. Um, again, if you need to buy store-bought, that's fine, um, but it's really nice if you can make your own nut butter for this recipe. And since you've already made your own nut milk, why not go the extra mile? It will definitely taste better, and of course, it's far less expensive. And then we have a little bit of vanilla, just for some flavor, and I'm going to zest up some oranges. So it's kind of keeping this with, with this really warm, um, citrusy, delicious dessert flavor. But again, you can make these bars taste of anything you'd like. Some options are adding in some raw cacao, for instance. It's also really nice with another kind of fruit. Um, lime zest is surprisingly delicious if you combine it with the coconut and the dates. And you can even change up the dried fruit. If you don't have this amount of dried dates, for instance, you can also use dried figs or apricots. The only thing I recommend is that you always look for an unsulfured dried fruit to ensure that you're getting the cleanest product. So let's get blending. You will need a food processor for this, um, but we're going to start with, gosh, what can I choose here? Let's start with the dates. So these have all been pitted. Make sure you do that, otherwise your food processor may have a bit of a hard time. So all the dates go in. I'm just gonna pit these last two. And there we go. Whoops, don't put the pit in. Okay, next I'm gonna add my vanilla extract. You can also use vanilla powder if you like. Doesn't really matter. A couple tables, or a couple teaspoons rather, of this. And then I'm going to put in my melted coconut oil. This is three tablespoons. And I'm actually gonna start by blending this up. I wanna make the dates and do a kind of a paste, which is why I've added the two liquid ingredients first. I'm just gonna pulse it to start. That's looking good. So yes, what we're aiming for is that the dates are nicely chopped up and this will allow the ingredients to incorporate uh, a lot easier. So next I'm going to add in my nut pulp. I will mention now that actually this is the amount from 
two batches of nut milk. So if you only have made one batch of nut milk, that's totally fine, just half this recipe, but I wanted to use double the amount so we have a good amount of energy bars. And that being said, um, the way to store the nut pulp is actually in the freezer. So if you make a batch of nut milk um, and you're not sure you wanna make energy bars right away or you're waiting to have the double amount, just store that nut pulp uh, in a tightly sealed container in your freezer and it will last you know, for months like that. Then we have our delicious homemade nut butter. Mm, this is gonna give an incredible richness to this recipe. But it's also really nice to use tahini, if you like, um, or any kind of seed butter is just brilliant. Next, we'll put in the chia seeds. There we go. And our desiccated unsweetened coconut. Our protein powder. Then we need a couple pinches of salt. This just really helps to balance the sweetness. And remember, please choose um, a sea salt if you can or a Himalayan rock salt instead of the iodized table salt. And then we have our cardamom. Mm, this smells so good. And um, if you can buy ground, that's the one we want in this recipe. You can also grind it yourself at home, of course. And then lastly, we just have a little cinnamon, two teaspoons. Okay, so. Let's pulse this up. You'll probably need to give this a couple stirs while you're processing. But what we're looking for is just something really sticky that holds together. This is another reason using dates is so great because they sort of have this wonderful binding quality to them along with being totally delicious. So what you can do at this point actually is just take out a small amount of the mixture and press it together in your hands. If it holds together like this one is perfectly, then you're pretty good to go. You can actually blend it a little more if you'd like. Oh my gosh. Mm, pardon me, it was really delicious. Mm. I'll just make sure that all the ingredients are fully incorporated. So I'll give it one more quick pulse. And that's it. Just quickly go over troubleshooting with these protein bars. So let's say for instance that your mixture is too dry and when you press it, it kind of falls apart. In that case, you wanna add something a little stickier like the dates. You could also add more nut butter or even more coconut oil. On the other hand, if the mixture is too wet, you can actually add something else like the coconut or the chia seeds or even more protein powder, and that's gonna absorb some of the liquid, so you're gonna get it right every single time. This is a really hard recipe to mess up. Again, you're looking for this balance of wet and dry ingredients. And the nice thing is because it's totally raw, you don't have to bake it, you can kind of taste as you go, adjust the levels of sweetness, adjust the levels of, uh, of spices, which reminds me, I haven't added my orange yet. So I'm going to do that now. Um, yeah, it's pretty foolproof. Even when you forget to add an ingredient. So whenever you're using citrus and you're going to be using the zest, I highly recommend purchasing an organic product and then um, giving it a really good wash. That's because when fruits are sprayed, of course they're being sprayed on the exterior and because we're using the zest, we wanna make sure we're getting as clean of a product as possible. So there we go. The room is smelling so delicious. There we go. And I'll just use the one orange. I think that'll be enough for this batch. And I'll also just introduce you to this lovely tool. This is called a microplane. It's a really nice grater and it's good. It won't hurt you. Uh, you can't cut yourself on it, which is great. Um, it's really great for garlic and ginger and also citrus zest. It's the best. So now I'll give it one final pulse. Great, done, that's it. How easy was that? So take this off the base and what you will uh, do is just line a brownie pan with some baking paper or plastic wrap and 
actually just put all of this in. There we go. Beautiful. I'll move that over here. So you can see this is really like a dough in a lot of ways, which is exactly what we're looking for. And all we want to do is as evenly as possible, press it into the baking tray. But again, we're not baking this. Because we're using the raw nut pulp in this recipe, it's really important to store these bars in the freezer. And that's because um, that nut pulp um, is quite delicate in its, um, in its fats and they will actually um, oxidize really quickly. So like I said, it will only last about three to four days in the fridge. And if you will eat these bars that quickly, that's totally fine. But otherwise, I highly recommend keeping them in the freezer. And they're easy to do that way. What I like to do is just wrap them up all individually, keep them in the freezer, and they actually thaw really, really quickly. So even if you want to eat them within 15 or 20 minutes, that's not a problem at all. And actually, they're kind of nice cold as well. So that's it. Make sure you go really firmly down around the edges. There we go. That's it. So I'm going to stick these in the freezer and um, when they've just firmed up a little bit, then I can cut them into squares and wrap them up. So here are my delicious protein bars. They've been firming up nicely in the freezer for a while now, but they're not entirely frozen, important. Here they are, so I'm going to actually just knock them out onto my cutting board and I can peel off the baking paper. There we go. Actually, they look really beautiful. The flecks of orange in there are nice and the chia seeds. So all I'm going to do now is just cut them into bars. You can do this however you like. Depends on what your preference is for shape and size and everything. But I like mine about this size. There we go. And then I'm going to do this, these in about half. So there's one bar. There we go. There's our second one. So like I said, you can actually, you can wrap these in paper if you like with something like this. But if, you're, um, if you'd like it for a longer term, then definitely store in plastic. It's gonna just help keep everything together much nicer. Um, and like I said, make sure that you store these in the freezer and that's because they contain the nut pulp and that will actually go off much faster if it's in the fridge. If you keep these in the freezer, they'll last actually for three to four months. Um, not that they'll last that long, trust me. So there we are there are your energy bars i really hope you enjoy them and i hope you never end up purchasing another energy bar from the store again this will save you so much money and again these are 100 percent raw made with whole food ingredients and they're absolutely delicious <laughs>